guys, still Miss Warrior here, Victoria, and I am uh, here with Mr. Mace Man. Today, what we want to talk about is the direction of the maze. Um, I really want to hear Mr. Mace Man's perception on that, so we're going to go ahead and ask him. So, what's where, where do you think the maze is going? What's the direction? I know you're real traditional, there's, you know, there's flow. I think that people that are now involved in the maze have a choice. Do they want to embrace the traditional method that I'm known for teaching, or do they want to uh, pursue the, the flow style of training, or do they even want to dabble in both? And there are a few that do do so quite well. There will continue to be mace competitions, okay? Uh, but the flow crowd is growing, I, I feel, at a more rapid rate, and I'm in, interested in seeing the direction it goes in because it's much more expressive and creative. Uh, what I do basically 10 to 2 and 360 and a few assistance exercises is who can do the most, the fastest, the best. And that's pretty simple. It, it leans towards competition, whereas the flow leads more towards expression. And both sides need to be heard. With that in mind, I got together with the best flow guy that I know, Leo right. Yurkidis, um, who I can't do one tenth of what he does. <laughs> but. Um, in, on October 13th and 14th in Long Beach, it's going to be a day of Leo Yurkidis. And if you survive that, and the next day it's a day of Mr. Mace Man. And I think that for trainers, it's a no-brainer because you'll leave with two, if you, if you pass, you'll leave with two certifications in which you'll be qualified to teach and to correct and to encourage people to go in either direction. So, so the, the workshop's going to be two days? Two days, Saturday and Sunday, oh, October right. 13th and 14th. Oh wow, so yeah. that's going to be like action packed. Literally. Absolutely. One day Mr. Mace Man, one day Leo. Right. Wow. Right. And uh, Leo has taught, I've never been to Leo's, uh, I think this is going to be his first actual certification, so he says it's pretty taxing. He says it's pretty tough, so you know, if, if people survive and they go home and get some good food uh, and, and some good rest, <laughs> then they can come back and, and uh, get the Mr. Mace Man treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Mr. Mace Man certification is tough as hell, too. Yeah, it's, it's not a walk in the park. Both of you are just going to murder some people. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the plan. But to, but to empower them to, to learn how to teach and correct because it's, it's one thing to learn moves, but you want to learn how to correct people doing it wrong. Right. Uh, to, to keep them safe. That's why we do it. You know, ultimately this workshop's specifically for trainers and coaches who want to teach maze, or do you, can someone just sign Any, up? Anybody can, can attend as long as they're serious about the maze. Uh, if you're a beginner, it probably wouldn't be a, a good choice because it's going to be intensive. But let's say that you, you've trained with me before and you're really good with the traditional style. Well, you'll have no problem with what I teach. You might want to acquaint yourself with what Leo does before you attend and vice versa. If, if you're one of Leo's followers and you're really good with the flow but you've never cranked out a heavy set of 10 to twos, better add some weight under your mace and get going with it because I'm not going to go light on you. And so what can we expect? Like, obviously they're split into two days. I thought it was going to be one day, but what can we expect from both worlds? Like, how are you guys going to collaborate and, and do all of that? Like, Not so much a collaboration. It's one day distinctly Leo. I'll sit in the background and just, just uh, take mental notes. Then the next day it's all Rick. It's all Mr. Mace Man. I'll have the, I'll have the, uh, the, the floor, but some of what Leo says may be different from what I say. The beauty of it for anyone attending is that they, they get to not just be swayed by one person, but they get to see two of, and if I can be helpful enough to say it, two of the leaders in the Mace world. Yes. I could have, when I thought about this, I could have got other, other flow people. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't, want the, I didn't want anyone else. I wanted Leo, it was that simple. Yeah. I think that was the best choice. And Leo's smart. He's, he's, as soon as I said it, he didn't have to think about it. He said, yeah, let's do it. I think, I think that it's going to be probably like one of the most historically, it's going to be historically known workshop in history for Mace. Hands down. I, I think so. Who else would you have gotten? I mean, there's, this, there's other names, okay. And there, there, there's, great, there's great trainers out there, great ones. But if, if you're talking about... Um, we didn't live too far apart. I don't know, we live less than a thousand miles apart. Let's get together at one place. 
Long Beach Kettlebell Club is a 10,000 square foot facility uh, near airports, near hotels, Long Beach Marriott, Long Beach Airport, LAX Airport, let's get it done, let's do it. Why have to we're going to do it. Right on. So that's Mr. Maceman. Look him up on Instagram. It's at Mr. Maceman, at right? Mr. Maceman, yes. And look up Leo Savage as well. Um, obviously, it's going to be on YouTube or maybe on my blog, so you can find the links below. Other than that, thank you. Thank you. It's so awesome my to be pleasure. here with them. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video.